Hi. Every week we give participants of our Excel training tasks, you know, even our Power BI and our financial modeling classes, eh? we give them tasks to help them to refresh what they have learned. And this is the task we gave for the week one. So every week, you know, week one, week two, week three. And uh, today I'm posting for you the solution to week one task. All right. So this is what we asked for for week one there are one two three four different projects you know sub tasks in this large task one for week one all right so without wasting any much time question for week number one task number one is what formula can dynamically get the sales amount for selected sales office and month right so here we have different sales officers you will notice that their names are repeated so you know every month your name will come up as a sales officer and then the sales amount you made so this formula should be able to let me specify for which sales officer i want to get for and for which month right so a lot of people did different things some people used VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is wrong because VLOOKUP is only going to pick one record. It's not going to pick, it's not going to sum up all of the records for the person I am interested in. And some people did manual addition. So that is obviously wrong because uh, the moment I switch the name, then your formula no longer works. You know, your answer is no longer correct, I mean. So this is the formula. Sum if. If you remember in the training, class training we did, sum if is in some ifs in this case some ifs is in the power excel function so if you go to your practice file if you go to the video we gave you some ifs you'll find the explanation for how it works in that video in and in that practice file so i'm going to sum if for in the sales amount range the criteria range and the condition i'm interested in and the second criteria range and the condition i'm interested in and that is all voila done so i move on to task number two so task number two it's a bit tricky <laughs> compared to the task number one well the truth is a lot of people got task number one just a couple of people used vlookup and that was what i saw that was wrong with the answer and that other person or two people did a um, manual addition you know like added the, the fields without making them link directly to options selected for this one there's a bit of a twist to it right so this has a table of the salespeople, no repetition so no repetition and so ordinarily we look up a lot of work huh? but then this is the extra twist I want to be able to specify the sales officer and I also want to be able to specify the month. So this is the additional twist. The months are arranged horizontally. The sales officers are arranged vertically. So I need a formula that can work across both, kind of like look up across both and get me what I'm interested in. Okay, so well, more than one way to do it, right? So these are the answers that if you have used this kind of formulas, uh, you will have gotten them you know so these are like the straightforward easy to use one if you again go back to reference the practice materials and video we gave during the training index and match you'll find the explanation in business data analysis part two so that plus the video so there's also the video for it uh, and all of what i'm saying this is what i mean in the practice material that you were given during the training what was in dvd what was in the flash you copied out you know and we gave during the training you will see that there are videos and practice files there so the video for the first one i said it's this power excel function and the practice material is also there the video for this index and march and and is in this business data analysis part two so that's where you're going to find index and match then for some products, some products you are going to find in Power Excel function. So the video explanation is also in there. All right. So 
let's start if i'm going to use index and match index i select the entire table i specify using match to locate the row for whatever i'm looking for in, in this example now the sales officer i'm looking for so i'm looking for this sales officer right and look for this sales officer in this now you have to be careful you have to make sure that you if you start your table array from row two then your look your match look up array should also stand from same uh, row so start mine from from row two and i say where it is equal to you'll notice immediately i select it change to sales huh i use the name dream so if it doesn't change to sales in yours it doesn't mean that you've done something wrong right so it's because there's a name drink here though if you're using this practice file to change to sales also but in your own other work you probably wouldn't change so where the sales where the sales officer is Hmm, sorry where in the sales range sorry that is what i wanted to say so in the sales range and then i say it should do exact match exact match is zero i don't know if you notice that exact match is zero okay so great so match is just to match look for this sales officer in this row in this lookup row in this lookup column lookup array and then i do another match to get the the month so again i see i'm looking for this month in this array of months okay notice it changes to month it's just because i've used a lookup a, a name ring so if you don't use a name ring it will not change uh, in your own different other data okay so great i say that exact match and say two that is all okay so if you use index and match it's a bit i don't know maybe to say it's more straightforward huh? so that's what i expect that you attempt to first use but then again you can also use some product so some product is one of those very powerful formulas in excel to handle multiple conditions so if you're using some product again the video for this you will find in the power excel formula video that was given you in your practice file during your training with us and for those of you who are watching this video and you're like oh i don't have these practice files i don't even have this task you know sorry <laughs> this is one of the after training benefits for our participants so i can't give you this but then again you are benefiting from the answer i am sharing okay, so i'm going to say some product where the sales officer's names uh, is equal to this person I'm interested in. And I'm going to say multiplied by where the months equal the month I am interested in right and that should multiply against the entire range of records of values right so it's going to i do enter so that's the end right with some products you are able to specify conditions that necessarily will not be same direction you know like here now some are vertically arranged and i'm looking for some specific people in this vertically arranged one and then another one month horizontally arranged and I'm, the thing about some products is it can add up on like vlookup on like index and match that will only pick the occurrence like one occurrence you know in a search direction this will pick for me all of the people in case i have multiple people you know in this my record so again this is one way of achieving that task number two 
For task number two, I want you to be able to do a formula that will let me specify, you know, anybody here, any sales officer, specify for what branch, specify for what month, right? And I'll get the value for that branch for that month for that salesperson so let me switch this back to someone else it seems this person didn't make a lot of sales in a lot of the month something is off okay great so uh let's begin here i notice a lot of people kept using some if huh? The problem with some if is you will start locking. So I noticed, you know, I could not change the month and see a different answer for those who use some, some if. Why? They have locked, they've locked the month to a particular column. So some if is not going to let me be able to specify any month. So please do not use some ifs. So let's see how with some product I am able to achieve all of this. Some products. Hmm. I pick condition by condition. I start with the sales officers. Where the sales officer range of name is equal to the person I'm interested in. Multiplied by where the branch where the branch is equal to the branch I'm interested in doing a report for this branch and again multiply by where the month is equal to the month I'm interested in and all of these multiplied by the values across the month and the sales officers and that is all I do that and I get the answer so you can verify that if you put your filter and you try and manually verify you will find out they are correct um, I don't want the video to be unnecessarily long you can always check that out yourself okay to the third task this is the one I I did a, I did a really unfair thing, but then again, it's to stretch, stretch you, huh? So here I had a really tough twist, huh? Sales officer. So more like what we've done before, you know, where the sales officer is who we are interested in. But here I said, where the branch, you know, I can specify two branches. So how you perform across two, two branches, right? You know, it could be across two products or two brand streams. So you know this can apply to a lot of real life scenarios you have too so how do you achieve this so again i notice people use some if well here because of how kind of tough it is if you had used some if you know i've given you a thumbs up the team will have given you a thumbs up uh the thing is some people use some if and still missed it so that's why i'm going to use some if even though some if is not the perfect answer here because some if is not going to let you be able to change the month uh, you will see what i mean so some if uh, i specify that i'm doing for june so now here is the problem i cannot say you should do maybe for any of these i have to pick one of those months and if i change the month here as you can guess this as you can guess this is not going to change but then again, let's ignore that and move on. So the criteria range. Let's start with the sales officer person. Huh? I pick that this is where all the sales officers are. And I'm interested in the one named Afiba Adioli. Good. And I specify that's not all of my conditions. I'm also interested in the branch. But here, where it's one of these two branches so kind of like an all situation this is where some if is really interesting it works also for county for you know the kind of our formulas in this family of, of ifs you know average if max ifs some if counties i can specify i can select these two as my condition so here 
is going to understand that hmm, picking for these two conditions right kind of like an whole situation and then i'm interested in what okay a month he, here since i'm using some if i'm not able to dynamically link up to the month so this is where our formula we end right now the trick is if i do enter if you're using the newest version of of the fact let me just show you if i do f9 on this so i've selected this and i do f9 you see what we call